Hey, where are you from? Chicago. Where are you from? Indian. Where are you from? Russia. From. Where are you guys from? What do you mean? We live here. Where are you from, though? I'm from St. Louis. Where are you from? Where was I born? Where were you born? I was born in the United States. My soul comes from Har Sinai because I'm one of the children of Israel. What brings you to the Holy Land? Documenting what's going on here. What have you discovered so far? Well, I just uh, took a walk up on top of the hill here where my friend Therese was born in 1948. Does the hill have a name? Uh, up here in the Russian compound. Sure. Yeah. And she was born there in 1948. And then when the Zionists came, they forced her family to Jordan. You mean they didn't? You mean you mean to say that for the best, when the, when the seven invading armies decided to commit genocide against Israel, what happened was 78 percent of the Arabs left because of the invading armies telling them to leave to get out of the way. Maybe you can ask her about that. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, that's the history, my friend. Okay. 78% left, left on their own volition because they were told by the invading armies that were seeking our destruction at our rebirth back in 1948. How do you feel about the settlements? How do I feel about Jewish communities that exist in the biblical heartland of which we are, are the children of Israel, the indigenous so it's the West come? Bank, Israel? The West Bank is no such thing as the West Bank. It's Judea, Samaria. Only the, the, only the people that are against, Judea and Samaria. against the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob called the West Bank. And where should the Palestinians go? The, the Arabs of Palestine, first of all, there's no such thing as a Palestinian. Where should the Arab Palestinians go that are in the West Bank? The Arabs that, that live in, in our ancestral biblical homeland, where should they go? Where should they go? They, they, they're probably going to stay where they are and they'll have, they, they have autonomy as it is. They have administrative autonomy. Should they get a vote in Israeli uh, no, what elections? They, they should vote in the Jordanian parliament where the vast majority of them already live. No, but I mean uh, the, ones, the, ones on, uh, the ones on to the ones uh, to the west of the Jordan River. They want to seek a national identity. They're more than welcome to jo vote in the Jordanian parliament to seek their national but identity. But they're not part of Jordan. Jordan is... is so jo then maybe... Uh, well, I should say Transjordan because they changed their name from Trans to Jordan after they illegally So you think the they should vote in Jordanian elections? I think that if they want to seek a national identity, they're, they're more than welcome to do so in Jordan. In Jordan. And where, where, would, the, where would that border be? Well, where's the border? The border already exists. We already have a peace agreement which demarcates the border so between... So it should be the Green Jordan Line? The, the green line is the green line is not a border; it's an armistice line. It's never a border. Okay, so where would uh, where would Jordan end and Israel it begin? All, we already have a border with Jordan in the night. The river. We already have a border with Jordan. We have an agreement okay, with Jordan. Okay, so what about the Palestinians that are on this side of the river? Where should they go? They, they have a, uh, already have administrative autonomy. They're already in charge of their own destiny, and they can vote for national identity in the Jordanian parliament. But you just said that's not part of Jordan. You just said that... No, but if they want to seek a national identity, they should do it in the Jordanian poll, not in our Knesset. So they should move to Jordan? N nobody's saying they should move to Jordan. Nobody's asking them to leave. Are we asking them to leave? We're there, We're there to protect our, our coastal plain. 80% of our population lives there. We are on the Judean mountains to protect our... Is that why you're population. in Sheikh Jarrah to, for security reasons? What? Is that why you're moving into Sheikh Jarrah for security reasons? Sheikh Jarrah is deeded land that's owned by, the, by us. It's our land. What about the people that lived there? All, no, the, the Christians state. stole it from us, the Romans, and then the Christian Crusaders stole it from us, and the Arabs stole it from the Christians, and then, and then God brought us back in a fulfillment of prophecy, just as, he, just as he promised in the Torah. We're living in biblical times, and God has returned us to our land. We are the indigenous population of this land, unless, of course, you want to... Where was your uh, grandfather born? My grandfather? We were, we, come, we, were, we were dispersed to Eastern Europe, most of my family. Eastern Europe? Yeah. And then to the U.S.? Well, my father had to leave Germany because of the Holocaust, so he escaped. So he went to the U.S.? What did, what did he do for a living in the U.S.? He was in the garment center. Garment? What, what did, uh, so where'd you grow up? I grew up in New York. New York? And how old were you when you moved to Israel? Uh, I've been, I spent 11 years of my life in Israel so far. And, okay. I've come to... So 11 years ago you moved here? Not necessarily. I've been on and off, but but anyway, I've come back to claim my uh, my ancestral portion of the land God gave my 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 ancestors and me. 
Hey, where are you from? Israel. Where were your parents born? Libya. The Jewish came to Israel in 1948 when, uh, thanks goodness, uh, um, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister David Ben Gurion, um, announced on the establishment of the new Jewish state. So How do you feel about the uh, Palestinians that were here before the Jews? I tell you what, my uh, automatic uh, instinct are to feel sorry for them, but this country belongs to us. Why? I tell you why. Have you ever read the Bible? Yeah. You did. You know about Ibrahim. Yeah. We call him Abraham. Uh huh. God, that we say Akadosh Baruch Hu, yeah. promised Abraham. Mm -hmm. He told him, Lecha eten et ta'aret azot. Mm -hmm. I will give this land to you mm -hmm. and your children and the children of your children mm -hmm. after. This country belongs to us. I don't feel apologetic about it. I don't feel guilty about it. It belongs to us. But it doesn't mean that I think that we have to turn it to Palestinian badly. I don't think so. I'm very, very much for uh, human, uh, human rights. And I think, not I think, the Judaism says that we have to treat every person um, with honor, something that they don't do. Because you probably know, like most of the people, about what the big thing that happened last week. Now, the prisoners, they are prisoners, mm -hmm. and they are not prisoners, they are murder. They are, um, mm. they do, they did awful things. They get here rights human, they mm. get visitors, they get good food, get, they get everything. Uh, uh, so my, my, my friend Therese was uh, born here in 1948, up on the hill above you, yes, okay. where this mall is now. Okay. And uh, her family was forced out of here and she had to go to Jordan. She's a Christian. Do you believe Christians have a right to live here? People like Therese, should she have been driven out of the country? I think that your friends and other people have rights to live here, but they have to understand that the uh, that the, that the Jewish uh, people harm this country. They can live here as visitors. So they're more important than Christians and Muslims, Jews, here. It, Here they're more important. It's not the measure of importance. Look, okay, if you have a house, okay, that yeah. you got from your great, great, great father, yes. it's your house, in spite of the fact that you have been exiled from this house with force. I mean, we have been exiled, exiled from this country two thousand years ago with force. I mean, they forced us to live here. So they your family left two thousand years ago? My your family? Great, great, yes. Your family? Yes, they yes, were forced yes, out of yes, here and yes, went to yes, Libya? Yes, of course. Yeah. Listen, we, the Jewish people, we are the chosen nation. And all, all of you will recognize it. You don't, you, it's so stupid of the Muslim and to the Christian not to admit it. I tell you, you know why? Why? I tell you why. Because when the, when the redemption, redemption, when the redemption will, uh, will become, all of you will enjoy the richness that we will come to this country. Ah. You understand? But you have to recognize the fact so, uh, that what we about before are the then? chosen nation. What about before the redemption? Can we enjoy it before the redemption? Before the redemption, we have to try to respect each other, to treat people with human rights, which is very, very important for I mean, It's not for me, it's the Judaism that says so. I mean, the Judaism is not for... <laughs> All the human rights and everything that you, the, I assume that you, are, that you are Christian, that you, the Christian and the Muslim, think that you, um, that you make it, it all comes from the Judaism. I mean, we uh, initially thought about the seventh day that gives rest to people that work. That. I tell you what I think. I think that uh, uh, it's changing recently because we, uh, last year, um, week not on so not only Gil Shalit back on there was also a Tzada. You know what Tzada? Uh, you know people from all the country walk, okay, I don't know the um par in English it's uh, Pared, Pared. Anyway and there was Christian people 
with big sign we love Israel so it's changing but what I think is that you people don't recognize the, the fact that there is hierarchy and the top of the hierarchy is the Jewish nation it doesn't look now because we're small and we're poor recently not so much because the economic crisis thanks goodness skip over Israel but still we are not big you know like United States but we are the most unique and special. We are the Son of God. And when you recognize it... As opposed to everyone else? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, there is a hierarchy. It's not equal. Yeah. And the Jews... So it goes the Jews, top. then Christians. On the top. Then who, after the uh, Jews? And on the top, in spite of all the suffering that you Christians let us feel. I mean, the Holocaust. We, we, we so, so it goes Jews, and then what? Jews and then what? The rest of the people. The rest, the rest are equal after the Jews. I, I tell you what, there is Jews, and the rest of the people as to only uh, they are only committed to what we call Sheva Mitzvot, but Noach seven uh, Mitzvot of uh, the sons of Noach. You know Noach? Noach. Noach, okay. So you have uh, now the seven mitzvot are not to murder, not to steal, not uh, uh, incest or whatever it's called. But we, the Jewish people, and you have to recognize, and when you recognize, when, when, when the rest of the world will recognize it, you will get lots of richness. Mm -hmm. It will be good for all the world, all the suffering. Why you keep talking me? Keep what? What, what? what is this? Oh, I'm videotaping you. Uh, you guys Israelis? Yes. Where, where are you from? Over here. Yeah, you were born yeah. here? You were born here? Yep. How about your parents? Where are they from? Here. Yeah, your parents were born where? What city? Palestine. Palestine. Right on. How about you? Where, you, where is your family like from? He's not that good in English. Oh, okay. So your parents were born in Palestine. Yep. And they're Jewish? Arab Jewish. Arab Jewish. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Huh? Uh, and how did they get along with uh, with uh, the Muslims before uh, 48? No, no problems. Why do you think there's problems? You think no problems? Problems start after 48. Uh, problems start after 48. Hey, where are you guys from? English? Little bit. Huh? Little bit. Little bit. Where are you from? Uh, how about your family? Where's your family from? Where were your parents born? Morocco, right on. Where are you guys from? Where? We live here. You live in Israel? Were you born here? Yes. Yeah, how about your parents? Uh, they both uh, also live here and born in here. They were born in Israel? How about your grandparents? Mm. My grandparents is from uh, Germany, Hungary. Germany, Hungary. Right her, her grandfather uh, is from uh, Iran. Iran. Go Iran! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! All right, have a good Are you English? English? Little English? What, what, are, what are you, uh, police? Police? Yes, police. Police? Where are you from? Israel. Israel? Where's your family from? Where's your family from? I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk? Where are you from? LA. LA, right on, you Israeli citizen? Yeah.